I'm worried for interest rates to drop. I know it's an unconventional point of view, but in this video, I'm going to chat about why, from my perspective, rates going down could harm home buyers in the short term. Now, before you go leaving a comment saying that you just want rates high because you're a lender, please know I don't get paid any more for higher rates. Instead, leave me a comment and tell me what you think will happen when rates fall. My name is Nicole Ruth, SVP of the Ruth team, number one loan origination team in the state of Colorado. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to my channel. In 2020 and 2021, we saw incredibly low interest rates. I mean, they were far from normal. As a matter of fact, the historical average mortgage rate is right around 6%. So when mortgage rates fell into the twos and threes, the frenzy began and everyone wanted to buy a home. Man, another one, which sparked intense homebuyer competition. And let me just say, working through these last two years as a mortgage lender was also intense. We had people pre-approved who would end up writing five to 20 offers during those years and 20 to $100,000 over asking. I mean, buyers were struggling. And I'm not just talking about the first time home buyers, but highly qualified buyers with 20% down and plenty of money to bid over ask we're still getting beat out by other offers because money was so cheap and competition was high. People were willing to make a lot of sacrifices like waiving home inspection and paying $100,000 over asking on a $400,000 home. I mean, all of this was fueled by cheap money and low inventory, which we're still challenged with today in most parts of the country. I'm not saying it's the same across the board because in some markets, it's still pretty competitive. And those homes that are priced right and staged right are still going for over asking. Now, I'm not seeing $100,000 over asking every time, but we're still seeing them getting bid up. And now with interest rates higher, well, what do you think is going to happen when interest rates fall again? Now, I don't foresee them going back into the twos and threes, but many economists are predicting the low fives and even the high fours. When that happens, we're going to see the cycle repeat over again with a surge of buyers flooding the market and a surge of competition. So as someone who is purchase oriented and wants to help people achieve home ownership and financial security, I'm nervous for those buyers who are waiting to get in until interest rates start to drop. And this isn't about it being harder for me and my team. We'll do whatever is possible to help our clients get into a home. It's about it being harder for buyers because the mental strain and frustration that comes with getting beat out on their offers time and time again is a real thing. And then there's the affordability concern across the country because when we get into those markets, where interest rates are low and there's low inventory and high competition, you know prices are going to get inflated more and more. This has been the year for first time home buyers, 2023, because they aren't facing 20 other offers and they actually have some negotiating power, you know, because of those 64% of buyers who are waiting for lower interest rates. And I know rates are higher than what we're used to seeing recently, but in most cases, buyers will be able to refinance. So if they can get in now, while the terms are still favorable, maybe negotiate seller concessions for closing costs or buying the rate down, they'll be gearing up to refinance down the line instead of driving head first into the shark pit that's heavy buyer competition. Well, that's a wrap. And if you're ready to get on your way towards building wealth through real estate, please don't hesitate to give my team a call. We would love to go to work for you.